Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, I'm gonna be chopping off my hair again. <laughs> What's new? A couple of weeks ago, I did cut some wispy bangs, which super cute by the way. They're so easy to hide, so I'm really glad that I gave that a go. But then I also have like some longer sections here because I sometimes want to do like a longer curtain bang and I like to kind of switch it up. But today, I'm ready to commit to the shorter curtain bang look. I think it's gonna look super cute for the summer. It's just like a really nice, sweet look and it's just so beautiful when you put your hair up and you have like some curtain bangs going on. It just kind of look put together but effortless but you know just a dream so I am ready for that today I haven't had that in a while I'm very excited so I am not by any means a professional but I do feel like this way is the easiest way to cut your curtain bangs without completely screwing it up so the tools you're gonna be needing is a comb like this just to kind of section out what you want to cut scissors and try not to use a kitchen knife did I say knife? Kitchen scissors or even worse like these craft scissors, don't use that. This is a bonus, it's not a must but it does help out quite a bit and that is a sheer thinning scissor. I think that's what it's called, right? Like thinning scissors. It's gonna help you blend, it's gonna help everything just look very professional basically. So I have already sectioned out the part that I want to cut and that's gonna be this right here and it doesn't have to be perfect like this triangle does not have to be perfect but somewhat planned uh, it's not completely chaotic here on this channel so you can either cut it wet or you can just straighten it I'm gonna straighten it today because I don't like cutting on wet hair and now I have it in three parts right here and I'm gonna start with the middle and I'm gonna cut it right above like the tip of my nose and I know that everyone's nose and faces look different but that's just how I'm gonna do it I feel like that's a pretty good guideline and then I'm gonna point cut it up so it's gonna become a little bit shorter and it's gonna maybe come up to here and when you cut your bangs don't pull it down like this because once you let it go it's gonna kind of bounce up and become way shorter than what you anticipated just pinch it very lightly and slide down to where you want to cut kind of like here and I'm gonna cut it straight across Okay, it's more like by my nose if I pull it down, but if it's like relaxed, it's right by there. And now let's point cut it to just blend it out. So this is what we're starting with. You always want to keep it a little bit longer than what you think because once you style it, it will kind of bounce up and become shorter. So I feel like this is a good length. You can always go shorter later on if you want to. So for the sides here, I want to blend these two together, right? I am gonna cut it right there in a diagonal. You do not want to cut straight ahead because that's when you end up with normal looking bangs. What makes it curtain bangs is when it blends into the top section and kind of like hangs like a curtain, right? So you want to cut it in a diagonal right here, boom. And then I'm gonna point cut it to blend it all together. Okay, I feel like that's a pretty okay start. Let's do the same thing with the other side. So now that it's like a triangle in the middle of your face, I'm just gonna try to make it as even as possible before we go to the next step. The final step of the cutting is to get your sheer scissors sheer thinning scissors and start blending the bottom part so like about here downwards here downwards here downwards never thin it from the top because then you will have like small hair sticking out you just want to thin out the bottom part so that it looks a little bit more airy cut one piece like that just a little bit sometimes you're like is that even doing anything yes love it is These types of scissors are only 
thinning scissors. It just doesn't chop off the whole section just to get like a really feathery look and this is great if you have hair extensions like me and want to cut a little bit of your own hair so that it blends into whatever hair extensions you have. So I am happy with what I have so far. Let me show you guys how I style it. So I just wet my hair and now I'm gonna style my bangs with one of these hair dryers right here. I don't have any smaller ones so I hope that this will do. So before I turn this on, let me show you guys how I do it. I am just gonna go over it like this and then under it like this and then also side to side like this and then like that. And so the whole section is completely dry. My barrel under and then go inwards like this. And just keep going like that until it's dry. I'm also gonna put it on medium flow just to have a little bit more control. You never want like blasting air on your bangs just because it's a little bit harder to work with. <laughs> And there we have the final result. I feel super cute. And now my bangs look a little bit more cohesive than before with the wispy and then the long curtain bangs. I love the way it like frames the face as well. It just looks so cute. This is just so nice with like, mm, just so freaking cute with curtain bangs. Even if you don't style your curtain bangs, it still looks good in my opinion. It's not like regular bangs where you have to like really keep up with it. Curtain bangs, I feel like they just fall pretty nicely without you have to doing a lot. I love it, I love it, I love it. If you guys try this at home, do it very, very slowly, okay? Just cut a little bit at a time. Even though I'm pretty detailed with my measurements and stuff like that, our faces are different. It's gonna, you know, be completely different on you. So just take my tutorial with a grain of salt and just cut a little bit at a time. That's all I'm gonna say. But that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you have any questions down below. I hope you subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!